What's up? Welcome back to more GeoGuessr. How's everybody doing today? I hope the beginning of your week has gone well. We are going to do more famous places. Oh, that didn't work. A famous world. I find this this uh, mode super relaxing, really enjoyable. Um, I hope you guys do too. Um, hopefully you learned something or have seen places you've been before. Um, and we have dropped into the first one, which Akbari Gate, Staff Colony. Okay, so we possibly have the name of a place. What's this way? Can we go past this way? I don't want to walk in front of this crowd. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe some... Oh, they're taking pictures together. Okay. So... I need to figure out where we are. Based on the way the people are dressed... I'm thinking it could be India, could be Pakistan, somewhere else in the Middle East. You know, I was initially thinking India, but I mean, guess could this be Northern Africa? Hmm. Akbari Gate. So... very ignorantly makes me think that this could be some sort of uh, Muslim location. He, what does he look like? He's kind of, he's got a, man, I really don't know. This could be a number of different places. Maybe this isn't Pakistan. Could it be north? Now I'm thinking Northern Africa. Like, could this be Tunisia? Kind of looks Tunisian. But I haven't seen that gate there. This one's going to be a, a very poor score, unfortunately. Was hoping to be able to break our record, but I don't think that's going to happen here today. But let's see. So I got it. I'm really struggling to decide between India and something quadrangle. Ching Chanjia. That's in English, which is interesting. Oh, just Akbar Gate, not Akbari Gate. And this is, so we do have Middle Eastern writing here. Should we go with Tunisia? Although it doesn't quite feel I don't think it's Turkey. I mean, obviously it could be one of these places. I don't know where Akbar Gate would be. I, I've never really heard of it. All right, I'm gonna go with my gut and go with Northern Africa. Ooh, could it be Morocco? Is there much? Uh, how like Islamic is is uh, Morocco? Okay, well there's mosques and everything, so maybe over here seems like another big city. Just quickly see if we see Akbar Gate. And I don't. So. But does this feel more Tunisia or Moroccan? Not 
let's just go Tunisia. Who knows? Let's see what we got. All right, so we were in Lahore. We were in Pakistan. Dang it. I, for some reason, was getting pas pac Pakistani vibes from it, and that is indeed where it was. So this is the Lahore Fort. Lahori? I, d I don't know. I'm always messing up the pronunciations, but... It's a citadel in Pakistan. Okay, it contains 21 notable monuments, some of which date to the era of Emperor Akbar. So that's where the Akbar Gate comes from, is he was the emperor. It's very, very old. I'm trying to find a date. First historical reference to four of the sites from 11th century during the rule of Mahmud of Ghazni. Wow. That is crazy old, super cool place. So we were, we were like right on, you know, this city is very close to India. So we were kind of right in getting Indian versus Pakistani vibes. Um, and that's that cool old fort. So terrible points, but cool round. And here we, I'm thinking Greenland, Iceland, or the Faroe Islands. Maybe Norway. Hmm. It's always tough be to choose between those. I'm not, I'm, I'm thinking Iceland is lower down. So I'm thinking, why am I thinking Faroe Islands? And also where are the Faroe Islands? Do we have a famous, I mean, could it just be that the island itself is famous? We're looking southwest down to the water, so we would be somewhere down here. You know what, let's just go with it. Okay. So, we were indeed in the Faroe Islands. We were 17 miles away. And I'm not sure what the famous place necessarily is. I mean, it's beautiful. Let's see if we can even. Okay. So this is this city or village population of 75 in 2012. Okay, so it has views over the sea in the rocky islet. I'm not going to pronounce that. Tindholmer, I just did. With its many peaks, Gasholmer and the two Drangar. Tall pointed cliff tops sticking up from the sea. This motif is known on many paintings and photographs. So, so I guess we were... So I guess it's just a very famous area in terms of... Oh, I totally should have just looked longer and and found the city or the village. Could have seen it right there. Um, but we got it regardless, um, so I'm pretty happy with that. This is, like, absolutely gorgeous. It almost doesn't feel real. Um, it would be really interesting living in a town of 75 in a place like this. I wonder what that's like. Um, so that is the Faroe Islands. Let's see what we get next. Okay, I've had a round like this before with a giant, giant mosque like this. And where, where were we? Were we in, were we in Medina? There was, this is going to test how useful doing these famous places are to see if it, if it sticks. We weren't, I think we were in Medina with this giant mosque. And, and I don't know if this is the same one, but the one we got previously was like the second most important mosque in, you know, Islamic culture in the Middle East because it wasn't Mecca. But I remember because it had these sun sail, sunshade things. 
and I don't think it was this I don't think it was that mosque oh it was this one Al Masjid Al Nabawi this was for sure the one we were at the other time and so I'm going to go there and there we go super happy with that I mean, it's it's proving that doing this famous places we're actually learning because we had that one previously a long time ago. So, if I remember, um, um, this is like the second most important. Okay, second sec. This was the second mosque built by Muhammad in Medina. Yes, yeah, second largest and second holiest site in Islam which coming after Mecca, the, 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 uh, the mosque in Mecca. Cool. So this one is pretty, um, always pretty, uh, noticeable because of these like cool shades. Um, and so this is in Medina in Saudi Arabia. I'm super happy that we got that and let's move on. So this is outer space. Okay, I mean, I'm going to say the Colosseum, I'm assuming this is the Colosseum, but wouldn't it be, it, I feel like it should be busier around it. Okay, actually, maybe not. Let's see. I, sh I spoke too soon. Okay, no, maybe it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, Colosseum. Okay, it is the Colosseum. It just was weirdly like empty. And so we are just north of it. The Colosseum obviously is in Rome. We are north of it looking slightly southwest. So right before these roads split off, so I'm going to say we're like right here. Okay, 20 yards. So... We were indeed at the Colosseum, and I don't actually know much about the Colosseum. It's the largest ancient amphitheater ever built, and still the largest standing amphitheater in the world, despite its age. Interesting. Um, let's see what it was. Let's see what it was used for. I mean, I know fighting, but I'm kind of curious if use. Yeah, gladiatorial shows. Interesting. Okay. They had a strong religious element, but were also demonstrations of power and family prestige and were immensely popular with the population. And they were put on by private individuals rather than the state. Another popular type of show was the animal hunt where they imported wild beasts. Battles and hunts were often staged amid, ala amid elaborate sets with movable trees and buildings. Trajan is said to have celebrated his victories in Dacia in 107, with contests involving 11,000 animals and 10,000 gladiators over the course of 123 days. Quite a celebration. Okay, so gladiatorial fights, hunting, staged hunts, and it is in Rome, and that is the Colosseum in a nutshell. And now we are on our last, our last one here. Another amphitheater looking thing. So I'm assuming this is another Roman amphitheater. Now we had one of these in Arles, France recently and now i'm wondering if this is the same one i think this is the same one so let's let's go in and this is another example of it actually working where we're actually learning and remembering these places now where was arl there it is. And so we had 
was this area? Two-tiered amphitheater with bullfights. I wonder if this is it. I do remember somewhere over in this area, there should be like a Japanese restaurant called Sakura. And there, I think it's right over here. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely it. I definitely remember. Um, There's the French restaurant and then there's another one. Where's Sakura? I just, I just want to feel edified by remembering. There it is. Sakura. <laughs> okay, so we are in Arles, France, in this amphitheater. Oops. Okay, we were over there, but that's okay. Um, we still got the full points. Um, oh, because that was the theater. This is the amphitheater. I see. Um, okay, so. Yeah, we, we've we already looked this one up, I'm pretty sure. Um, but... It was kind of an ancient Roman uh, theater. I'm trying to see if... I'm trying to see if uh, I can find the page for that. What What is it actually called? Theater Antique d'Arles. Yeah, so it's first century. It's n located next to the amphitheater, which is where I stupidly guessed. But um, yeah, I see 8,000 people. So that one's pretty distinct, which is why I was able to like remember it so quickly. Um, that was a pretty good round overall, actually. We were very close on a lot of those, um, except for the first one. First one was not great. But then two, three, four, and five, we all got pretty much perfect scores, I think. Close, at least. Um, so, yeah, this one, I guess I was a little farther away, but it could have could have seen that sign. So, that was an interesting one. Um, we're starting to get some repeats here, so I need to decide what to do about that. Um, it would be cool to get so good at them to be able to do go for like a world record on one of these maps, either this one or the famous places map, um, because we're starting to get familiar with them. But I still think that's a long way off. Um, so thank you as always for watching, and I hope you come back for more, and have a great day.